Hello YouTube, this will be a mechanism video for my LEGO Candy Machine version 13, my realistic gumball machine, and I'll show you how I made it so realistic with the locking mechanisms only twisting one way, and how it ends up dispensing the gumball in the end. So, I have one quarter here to show you and demonstrate how everything works, and first I will start off with the locking mechanism, and I even have the roof over here, so I'll show this mechanism at the end. I'll work on the locking mechanism, how it dispenses the gumball, and then the roof. So, in that order. So, let's get started. What we have here on the mechanism involving the locking mechanism is there's two little mechanisms, separate mechanisms, that lock this wheel. So, one of them has to do with the clicking and not being able to turn counterclockwise, like so. The other one allows you not to get free candy. So that's how, that's what their both purposes are. So the one that stops you from getting free candy is this one. And this one is the most open one, so it's easy to see. And it's literally powered by a rubber band, which I coated in tape because the corners would sometimes, would like cut at the rubber band. So that's just a little feature I added. But basically, Whenever you twist without any money, nothing fills this gap, pushing it like that. So it blocks it. But when there's a quarter, it'll obviously push it like that, and you'll be able to do that, which I'll show later. And twist back real quick, and show you the other mechanism. So the other mechanism is right there. It's right here. And basically, if you were to push right here, it would lift up, because this mechanism is powered also by a rubber band down there. So, that's how that works. And what will happen is it's always pressing down, and since the gear, since the gear prongs will not, it won't go this way, but when you twist around with a quarter in, it will lift up because it because just how the physics work where you can't push back but you can push the other way so it's a cool little locking mechanism which adds a nice feature and really helps with not being able to twist backwards which would allow you to get free candy because this mechanism wouldn't work so that's how both of those mechanisms work so hopefully you guys understood that and now I'll go back to this view and show you how the candy dispenses. So, the candy dispenses through some gear mechanisms down here. As you see, those gears are twisting, twisting that extender, and which would eventually cause a big thing up here to spin, which I'll show you. And so, up here, there's normally like this whole thing of flat tiles, like this, kind of half of it, but Basically, that would allow the gumball to fall and smoothly roll around, being guided by this. So this huge wheel inserts into the machine like so, and what will happen is when you have, when you twist, it only twists like that, and the gumball will drop over here. So what you need is a quarter. So this is when I'll use the quarter. And show you how it all works together. So, you cannot twist counterclockwise. We went over how that works. You cannot twist without a gumball, or without a quarter, my bad. And so, you need to put in a quarter and twist like that. As you can see, it easily bypassed the locking mechanism, and you twist to this point where it will drop a gumball down which I'm not going to do because it'll fall into the machine. But there will normally be smooth tiles, which I took out to show you. And then it would twist all the way around. And at this point, you'd be back where you started, and your gumball would drop down there. So I'm going to pull out the wheel. Yeah, it kind of broke more than I expected, but I'll fix that after the video. And what will happen is it will drop down that tube. It actually opened that up for you. So it just drops down that tube, down some ramps, and that's how that works. So that's how the whole mechanism of the machine works. And now I will move on to the roof. The roof 
is a much simpler mechanism overall and I have it unlocked for you so you just pull it up and what I made was when these are pushed in it would just move up and down freely you could remove it or put it back in but when you want to lock it it will lock into these brackets or these holes and the axle will be expanded like so so what you do is you push in like that when the roof is obviously on top and those axles will push into the holes making it to where you cannot lift it up so it'll lock it in and then when you want to unlock it you would just push an axle through the holes and do that so I'll show you put it in so yep push like that and then go to the other side so as you can see the axles are locked in and you cannot lift off the roof but when you push them in like that the roof is easily removed so that is how the locking mechanism on the roof works you can take a look at it one last time and please give me credit for all of the mech any sort of using or of these mechanisms so if you use these mechanisms in any of your machines or something please try to give me the appropriate credit and that's pretty much it so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video i know a lot of you guys were requesting it i just didn't i just had to find some time to make it and hopefully you guys enjoyed that so that's pretty much it if you have any questions please leave leave um them in the comments below and please rate comment subscribe that's pretty much it bye